Hello everyone, I'm Wendy Ross for USTrotting.com. It was a beautiful day once again in Lexington, Kentucky, and the Red Mile was super fast today. We saw the fastest trotter ever in all of harness racing, Homicide Hunter, put up some vicious numbers, and the action continued later on the card when McWicked and Lazarus End battled it out in the stretch, but it went to McWicked in the end. You're going to want to see all the action. And it's Wisdom Tree who turns for home with the lead. She's maintaining a length advantage. Double Bay Bent uh, tries to angle that now to take her shot at the outside for Jing Rao. I'm trigger happy at third. McVita's fourth, but it's Double Bay Bent who just roars out of the pocket here, and she's going to pounce. Jing Rao chases her home. Double Bay Bent close to the finish. It's Double Bay Bent who will win it 147 and three. From the center, Guardian Angel Boz also left the uh, gate sharply. Looking to mount foot to Pinkman out of that opening turn, but uh, he continues to scoot through. Down at the inside of a three wide early skirmish there around the uh, Tattersall's turn. Guardian Angel Boz and Kincaley are up to grab the track early. He's Lindy the Great continues pressing at the outside for Zeron Pinkman. A couple away just off the uh, leaders there in third. Will take charge. He was unheard in the early stages. He's mid pack fourth. And will take charge still on top. He's under heavy pressure now from Guardian Angel Paws. Homicide Hunter tips widest of all around Pinkman as they come into the final length of a mile. Will take charge is given way. Guardian Angel Boss takes over for outside. Homicide Hunter is angling up late for Sears. Linda the Great shoots through late, but it's Homicide Hunter who sweeps past to the outside. Homicide Hunter trotting into the finish. It's Homicide Hunter who will hit the line. 148 and four, the fastest trotter ever. Homicide Hunter. Brian, you're reunited with this talented trotter. You set a world record. Now you've sat behind the fastest trotter in the world. How do you like driving him? But man, you two seem like a super team. Um, you know, the, I, like I said, the horse is, you know, he's easy to drive. He's got a lot of speed. He's very versatile and uh, he knows what we're out there to accomplish and uh, he makes my job really easy. But uh, he gets around Yonkers great, big track just as well. So it's, uh, he's a pleasure to drive and I knew he was capable of going a big mile and uh, the numbers were right and he got it done. I know this horse is one of your pets, Michelle. He never lets you down, always seems to get it done. Have to be excited to have the fastest trotter in the world right now. Um, I think he's overdue, right? I mean, he's definitely overdue. He's had some tough trips in the past few races, and I just, I, I never lost faith. I, I know what Chris tells us about how he's training, and, you know, he's just the real deal. He, he never disappoints. Gets his eighth win on the year for you, but hey, winning is always fun, but here at Lexington today, it's a beautiful day. It just makes it extra special. Very special. It's our first time in the winter circle the whole week, the whole two weeks. So it was it was a long time coming, and I thought he had our best shot to get here. And he's a super sweet horse, too. He just uh, he likes to race out of the paddock. So at home, he's just turned out the whole time, and then he just goes to the racetrack. So trucking bothers him a little bit, but he was great today. So uh, I think with maturity, he's getting over some of that, too. He realizes it's just a day's work. They are on gate. Hit the ball off. Philip Buster, head of her, goes sprinting out early uh, for Kikaley. Western fame darts out from the uh, far outside. So, uh, host of early speedsters here as they barrel into that opening turn. Western fame on full tilt early here. Looking about foot to fill the buster ahead of her. McWicked is about uh, three lengths behind that pair. Third as Heaven Rocks looks to uh, dive in front of him. All bets off. Come away race again fifth. Lazarus still floating wide in the early stages. Sixth. Rock and Ronda was inside a seventh. Split the houses on the outer tier in that eighth spot. And at the back, Dr. J. Hedever. The opening quarter here, 26 and a one. And they move up the uh, back stretch. Heaven Rocks did not uh, want a seat. And Heaven Rocks powers out at the top here for uh, Dave Miller. And he takes over affairs from Western Fame. Turning for home. That is a filibuster Hanover who has taken over affairs. McWiggin takes dead aim late down the center. Lazarus rolling up on the four outside into the final eighth of a mile. And here we go. McWiggin is into the lead. Lazarus. Up on the outside, these two are going to battle down to the finish. McWicked or Lazarus? It's McWicked and Brian Sears. McWicked close to home. McWicked 146 and two. Oh, thank you. Oh.
Casey McWicked. What a vicious mile you went today. 46 and two has to be exciting for you. Oh yeah, for sure. That's a huge, huge mile. Uh, I was just hoping to win. Everybody was talking about how fast they're going to go today, and I was just hoping for the win. But to get a mark in 46 and two with them is pretty special. We call him our mascot, and he's a he's a pretty nice horse to have as a mascot. He just he's an old horse and uh, does everything you ask of him. And every time you put him on the racetrack, you know he's going to give you everything he's got. He uh, he pretty much never throws in a clunker, so he's a pretty special one. It was the Tattersall's pace for three-year-old fillies. You are my candy girl. Much improved from her jug at effort for Yannick Jengra. One of the front took it from Zeron, but Zeron out tripped her in the stretch and kissing in the sand gets the win in 47 and 4. Kiss it in the sand. Angles wide to take another shot with the Baron Ribby. We've got third, Alexis Power fourth. They move into the final eighth of a mile. You are my candy girl. Still maintaining a short lead. That's Kiss it in the sand. Trying to wedge closer. Baron Ribby third, Alexis Power fourth. You are my candy girl and kiss it in the sand. Kiss it in the sand. She's just too good here. Kiss it in the sand. We'll win it. Trading, trading. 